What's up squeegee slingers and water fed pole wiggling wagglers. Welcome back to the Tradman Academy YouTube channel. Today we're going to be learning how to use squeegee app to send very professional looking quotations whatever service that you might be providing in some very easy to follow steps. So without any further ado let's get into this. Right then folks, so I'll bring up Squeegee app on your screen for you now so you can quite clearly see how to do this, whether you're on a PC or you're on your tablet, mobile, it's all the same way to be able to achieve sending quotations. So let's get this up on screen for you. Right then, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is scroll down here on the main page when you fire up Squeegee app, you scroll down the side here, down this left hand side and look for the tab called Quotes. Simply tap or click on that, and this brings up your quotation section. Now, because I've not sent a quote yet, this is completely blank, which is absolutely fine. So what we're gonna do is now we're on the quotation section. You can see up here, we're on the section called quotes. Come down to the bottom right-hand corner on your device, and this pink looking button with the three dots down the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, if you click on that, and then create a quote, which is that blue button just above it. Once you've clicked on that, it will ask you if you want to select a customer from your pre-existing customer base, or if you want to obviously create a brand new customer, you type in this box here where it says search for customer, click in there, the name of your new customer, potential customer, and click on the plus icon just to the right here. Now, we actually have Mrs. Smith, if you cast your mind back to the previous videos and tutorials that we've done, we have a Mrs. Smith as a demonstration. So we're gonna bring up her on the account here. So I'm gonna type in Mrs. Smith and you'll see that she comes up here. Number one, two, three, park close. Now, if you haven't seen those videos, I will pop them in the link at the top of the video for you and put them in the description so you can check them out. Now we'll click on Mrs. Smith's profile and that will bring up this customer. Now again, if you haven't got any pre-existing customers, just type in that box the name of the customer or if you maybe don't know the name of the customer, just type in something like unknown for the moment and then we're just gonna save their address. So then if they phone up and say, you know, I'd like to go ahead, you can just search for the address. So here on the right hand side of the screen, we have our quotation system. So you can set the date that you want the quotation to basically last for. So here we've got October 31st till November 30th. So then they've got that amount of time to accept the quotation. So you can set it in the settings to whatever duration you would like the quotation to last for. So the next thing that we need to do for our pretend customer, Mrs. Smith, is to add a job to this quotation. Because at the moment, as you can see here, there are no quote items. So what we do is we click on this button here, which says add job to quote. So we'll click on that. And this brings up the options. Now, whether you're providing, if it's window cleaning or lawn care or whatever it might be that you're doing, you will first need to pick the service that you're actually providing for your customer. So let's click on add a service, which is just here, the second tab down. So we'll click on that. So here you can price the job or price individual services. So we're just gonna leave it as price job for the moment. And under services, we have pre-existing services that we actually provide. So we've got carpet cleaning, conservatories, deep cleaning, external windows, gutters, etc., etc. If you want to add a new service, simply click in the box that says enter a service, add the plus button when you finish typing, and you will have created a new type of service to add to your quotation. Okay, so in this instance, we're gonna say, Mrs. Smith is requiring external window cleaning, so we're gonna scroll down to external windows, which is just here, click on that, and you'll see it has a green tick next to it. We're gonna click done. So that is absolutely great. We've got external windows, that's what we wanted. And we're gonna say, let's just say for argument's sake, we're gonna say 20 pounds. I can't actually remember what we quoted her, but just for argument's sake, we're gonna say it was 20 pounds. If I feel like putting it up, I might just put it up for Mrs. Smith. Well, depends how, how nice she is to me. But for now, 
£20, we'll go with that. So let's hit save. She's got an external window clean for £20. Hit save. There we have it. Now, the next thing you want to do, is it going to be ad hoc or is it going to be a repeating job? In this instance, I'm going to say it's a repeating job. So we're going to click on repeating. And in our service, we provide a monthly job. But if you're every four weeks or eight weeks, whatever it is, this is the section where you can amend that. So I've clicked on repeating. I'm going to click on the number one and I'm going to click on month. So that's going to be once every month. And then I can pick the day that I want to do it. OK, so it's set on the 28th at the moment. So we're not particularly too fussed what date it is at the moment, as this is just for demonstration purposes. Click done. So we've added the service, which is external windows. We've added the fact that it's going to be done regularly and once per month. Now, if you have asked the customer whether they'd like you to do the job at a certain time, you can click on this tab underneath, which says time. Click on that and you can simply input the time that you want to then go and do the job. OK, so we're going to cancel that for now because I'm going to turn up and do the windows when I feel like it. I'm only joking. We'll be a bit more professional, professional than that, I think. Now, if you want to assign this job to a member of staff, under here you can click on Assign, and you can assign that job to a specific member of staff. So when they log in using their details, that job will be assigned to them. Also, if you roughly know how long you think the job's going to take, you can do that here as well. The standard setting on our system is 30 minutes per job. But obviously, if you click on that, you can adjust it to roughly how long you think the job's going to take. And that will obviously, if you're using the day pilot feature on Squeegee app, that will tell you how long the job will take and how long it will take to get to the job, etc. If there are any notes that you want to add or notes for the invoice, you can also put that here as well. And you can also adjust if you want to track the time or if the job requires a signature. So once that's all completed, you hit save. And now Squeegee knows what's going to be done, how long it's going to take, what type of service the quotation is for. If you want to add notes to your customer's quotation, you can do that here at the bottom of the screen. Once you've saved your quote items, you'll notice at the bottom it says quote notes just here. So we click in that box, you can type whatever you like, and that will obviously relay that information to the customer. So you could say something like if you're doing the windows, you could say, I don't know, frames, panes and cells included. I don't know, something like that. Whatever you want to type. Um, obviously, you might want to put it a bit more professionally than that, maybe a bit more jargon if you want. But that is the section to do that. So let's say we finish the job now. We finish the quotation. We're going to hit save. It's going to ask, would you like to send the quote to the customer now? So hopefully at this point, you've either got their mobile number or their email address. And then if you have, Squeegee app will automatically send it to them straight away. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit send. And then Squeegee app gives you an opportunity to check over your quotation before you hit the send button. So let's do that. Let's view the quote. And this is what your quotation would actually look like. So here you can see they can accept or decline the quote from here. We can see that the quote status is pending. So they haven't accepted or declined it yet. We can see the quote number. I've not sent a quotation on the demo account yet. So that was quote number one. It gives them the expiry date of your quotation as well and also their address. OK, and down here you can see the description what you've quoted for, the total, how much you've actually quoted, and the quote date, and also your notes that we added at the end. You can see that is here on their quotation. So it's a very nice, professional looking and interactive quote that they can use. Click accept or decline. And there you go. You've got a customer straight away with no hassle or fuss. And there we have it. That is the quotation system. And if you ever want to refer back to it, so that is it now saved on the computer. If Mrs. Smith maybe doesn't do the interactive quote, she doesn't click on accept or decline, but she phones you and says, I'd like to go ahead. You can then click on the quote section. So again, obviously scrolling down here, we're already on it. Then you can actually find if you had hundreds of quotations on there, you could then search for the quote 
by clicking on the little spyglass, type in the either the person's name or address, whatever it may be, and then their quotation will come up so you don't have to remember anything. So hopefully that video has been useful and helpful for you today on how to use the quotation system within Squeegee app to create nice looking interactive professional quotations for your customers no matter what service you provide. So hit the thumbs up button if that's been helpful for you and subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. All the links to Squeegee app will be down below, including their email address. So if you need to ask any questions, fire them a message and they will be more than happy to help you. And you take care, be good until the next video. And remember, keep squeegee slinging.